what they were saying the lord is saying that he will do to them what he heard them saying in his presence hey that's a very powerful verse i'm gonna read it for you so tell them as you tell them as surely as i live declares the lord i will do to you the very thing i heard you say oh okay just for a background in this book of numbers chapter um, chapter 14 verse number 28 actually going downwards these were the children of israel which were coming out of egypt they were in the wilderness but they begin to grumble and uh, complain to god when they grumble and complain to the lord the lord was not happy with them because um it was when after when the lord has sent the spies moses has sent the spies to go to to spy i'm sure that was uh, the jericho then the bible say that when they saw the giants when they saw the giants these people when they come back they were speaking in negative ways that no they cannot uh, they, 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 in the promised land there are lots of giants there are lots of giants that they don't believe that they're gonna enter promised land because there were lots and lots of giants big man they they even spoke something like um they are like grasshoppers compared to those men when they compared themselves to the they, they were saying that they are grasshoppers when the lord heard that it was only joshua and caleb who said that even though this is this is a very good, good land even though they are giant even though they are giants even though they are giants but the lord will give them this land no matter no matter what is there in the in the promised land then those who spoke negatively the lord was angry with them but those who spoke positively the lord was happy with them and the lord said that as these things were being said in his presence the lord will do as they were saying to them that means those to those who were saying that hey these giants are they're gonna they're gonna destroy them they will be destroyed to those who are saying that hey we are going to be victorious this is a fertile land the lord was saying that i'm going to give you the land this is actually related to our worship our worshiping time when we say ah oh, because of you we are rich because of you we are blessed because of you we are more than the conquerors then that means the lord want us to have a positive talk always always when you are not just having a positive talk a positive talk believing on his word a positive word talk when you are believing and standing on him that's what you want that's what the bible i'm sure says that in the book of uh, romans chapter 10 verse number 11 that the bible says that those who trust upon the lord shall never be put to shame then uh, as we trust upon the lord we will never be put to shame Amen. we will never be put to shame then that's the advantage um when we trust upon the lord the lord will do as we say then it is very very important what is one saying about themselves then that means whatever we say to whatever we say when we are in the presence of the lord um 
it's like a prophecy because these people they, they thought they were talking to Moses these people they thought they were just talking among each other they were not aware that there was a, a, the Lord who makes sure that whatever they say comes to pass then the, when they were speaking the, when they, they, they have concluded the matter among themselves with their negativity the Lord was offended. He said, that, I will do to you as what you have saying. And indeed, the Bible talks about those people who are grumbling, those people who are complaining, those people who are doing that. They have never entered the promised land. They died in the desert. But Joshua, but Joshua, but Caleb, they have entered uh, the promised land. They've entered the promised land because of what they were saying. Then this is actually an advice to everybody out there. That even on, on, on our online ministry, we're saying to us, we're so blessed because of that prophetic worship that we're having. That we are speaking the words of faith. We're saying whatever we're saying, the Lord is saying that um, he will do to us as what we have been saying. He will do to us. He will make sure that those things come to pass. He will make sure that you are a billionaire. He will make sure that you are rich. It's not going to be a, by our effort. Because we are saying those things. First of all, let's worship. And second of, second of all, in His presence. In His presence. Then it's quite um, a privilege because we have got a a great future ahead because the Lord is saying that he will do to us as we have been saying that is so powerful he will do to us as we have been saying then my question to everybody out there is that what have you been saying what have you been saying have you been saying negative words because Jesus Christ said by your word you will be acquitted by your word, you will be condemned. What have you been saying? What are those words you have been saying? If you have been saying negative words of complaining, of grumbling, oh, repent. And you begin to change your language. And that's why, then that's why, that's why now, it becomes so important also to us who are in the, in the online ministry to to participate that we partake of this blessing that the Lord is about to do according to what we have been saying those who are, that, that means those who are saying the negative words uh, the Lord is going to do like that those who are saying the positive words who are saying the words of faith like what the Bible says, whatever you bind here on earth is bound in heaven. He's going to do it according to what we have been saying. Amen. Then just to stand on that scripture, it is so powerful. It is so powerful, Papa. Yes. Amen. Then I said to you, congratulations in Swaziland. And uh, have a bl have a blessed day. because where where in Switzerland are you?